It's amazing how much we need approval. I recently got a new car. It's an all-electric, all whistles and bells, does absolutely everything you yearn for, turns the headlights on when it's dark, tells you when you need air in the tires. It can warm itself up before you get into the car. And the only thing it doesn't have is that it can't make you a cup of coffee, but I'm sure they're working on that. One of the features that was new to me is that if you have the electric key in your pocket, your mere approach to the car releases the lock on the door and all the lights flash. The other day I was just crossing the street to take out the trash and I came within a few feet of the car. The lights flashed, the door locks opened with a welcoming clunk and the side mirrors flipped out like a pair of ears of an old canine friend. I had this unmistakable feeling, absurd as it was, that the car was smiling at me. And you know something? It gave me a fleeting moment of happiness. I caught myself and thought, wow, if being recognized by an inanimate object can bring a smile to my face, how much more when the human being acknowledges us does that lift our spirits? It says in the Pasuk, Yosef brothers perceived that their father was dead. With Yaakov's death, the brothers sensed that Yosef's attitude to them had changed. He no longer invited them to dine with him as he'd done in the past during their father's lifetime. And they thought that his latent resentment was now surfacing. But they were wrong. The Maharal explains that with the death of Yaakov, Yosef knew that the persecution of the Jews, the latent anti-Semitism of Egyptian society, could start to rear its ugly head at any time. Now, an invitation to the palace could be construed as the Jews seeking power and influence. Does this sound familiar? So to minimize this latent anti-Semitism, Yosef stopped inviting them. Now, Yosef knew that his actions might be misinterpreted by the brothers, but to be a leader of the Jewish people means knowing when to override the natural sensitivity that the brother has towards his siblings for the greater good of the Jewish people.